Good morning, everyone. Hello from uh, Winnipeg again. Uh, Today is uh, January the 5th. Wow, what a, a, a recovery for me. Until today, you probably still can uh, hear a little bit of my nasal, uh, strong nasal sound. But uh, physically, I feel much better. And I would say 95%. I, I, I'm okay now. Um, thank you for watching my previous uh, video with my, um, uh, my partner. And we went to this uh, uh, COVID testing uh, uh, drive-through experience video. That was quite something. Um, I, I was, uh, uh, both of us were very disappointed. And also, you know, I, I didn't comment too much in that video, but today I feel much better. I, I really want to comment uh, something I, um, after I've gone through all this um, either side effects or the sickness and, uh, and uh, the, the current situation of uh, COVID or co Omicron uh, around the world. Uh, this is a, a, a very shocking experience. And plus, this morning, I just, um, uh, one of my colleagues, um, he's only uh, 27, a uh, very fit young guy. And uh, he got um, third uh, Moderna, uh, Pfizer dose on last uh, Sunday. And uh, after, right after he got the uh, uh, booster shot, uh, he got uh, uh, back pain right away, uh, been uh, continuously today. And uh, this morning when he woke up, yesterday I, I, um, I saw him, we were at the office, and uh, he, he, other than the back pain, he, he was okay. But today he couldn't come to work because um, he got um, very, very bad stomach uh, aches and also the chest pain too. Wow, uh, and right away he, he thought that that's from the booster. <sighs> you know, I've been telling people, um, it depends on what kind of a compromised situation you are and uh, do you really need a booster or more shots? Um, I mean, I've gone through all this and um, I'm not um, uh, going to take any shots. I, I've been completely uh, aware of this and also I'm telling uh, people around, around me and uh, uh, consider this uh, very, very seriously if you're going to take uh, more. And you know, this is another, my colleague, uh, the, the people around me got these problems again. So. Now back to uh, this Omicron situation here. In Canada, uh, in our little province, Manitoba, we got uh, 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 2,000 already. Uh, and the Quebec, more than um, 100,000, and been uh, locked down everywhere again. And uh, America, they got uh, uh, more than a million. So, of course, 70-80% uh, of people who got the uh, COVID or Omicron are vaccinated people, even with the booster. What the, what the, I would say, what the hell, right? So if, if we knew this situation, why did we get the booster? Why did we get the vaccine at the beginning? Um, you know, a couple of days ago, people uh, in um, Amsterdam, they went down the street, uh, protest uh, this situation there. They, they are trying to uh, uh, get this uh, mandatory uh, vaccination pass, uh, passport. Um, just uh, this thing's so annoying. Well, the reason why I get so upset and disappointed because um, both my partner and I, we, we were so sick this time and uh, just out of blue, 
that could be, you know, we went to uh, uh, shopping and just got it. So we assume all the symptoms are exactly the same, even worse than the Omicron symptoms. And for sure, we think that's, that's it. And uh, instead, we didn't get it. So now I wonder what kind of people they really got Omicron. And uh, are, does that, we didn't get it. Does that mean we were so healthy? Does that mean we were got vaccinated? Um, why we didn't get it? That's my point. And uh, this morning I asked Randy, where can I hear uh, or see uh, those uh, Omicron patients uh, who are in ICU or uh, ho in the hospital telling people or be interviewed uh, telling their experience? Nobody. I haven't heard anybody or seen anybody uh, on TV uh, about their experience being sick um, caused by Omicron or COVID. At the early stage, you still, you know, there are a few people talking about it. Oh, I got, I lost my smell, I lost my uh, taste, uh, whatever. But now with the Omicron, it just everybody saying is uh, 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 it's uh, like a cold, uh, flu symptoms. But so what? I I, I didn't even get it. <laughs> to be honest, I. I don't know what to say. That's why I got so um, annoyed and uh, couldn't find out why. And anybody in front of the camera watching my video, um, uh, Dr. John Campbell or Dr. Bean, can you tell me wh why we, we were both so sick and we didn't get it? <laughs> what a joke. Now I'm completely lost. I don't know if this video is going to get um, uh, uh, some yellow marks by YouTube or not, uh, but this just uh, uh, drive me nuts. Uh, you know, we, we both uh, got this uh, uh, tested and uh, didn't get anywhere. Uh, I'm so, so, so lost. So, um, Last but not the least, uh, just while I'm doing this video, um, the BBC uh, has a, a, I think it's very promising news, and also I, that's why I have to add this uh, little piece. I think it's a great, great news, and the world should uh, go this direction. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson just uh, made announcement that travelers to England uh, will not need pre-departure COVID test and uh, will only need uh, a lateral flow test uh, uh, within two days of arriving. So, I mean, the world, let's be clear and we should go this direction. So, thank you very much. We'll see you next time.